everybody. So, um, I wanted to come on and do a, a little chat slash tutorial on, um, my project. Um, this video is because I'm not usually one to, you know, complain or rant or anything, but I had did a unboxing of the BB Craft products that they sent me, and I did a project share. Now, I'd had those, um, uh, you know, items that they sent me for a, a couple weeks, and the reason I didn't do the unboxing or project share at that moment is because I literally researched for like two straight weeks uh, what I could make with the BB uh, craft the beads and whatnot that would set, you know, my project aside from everybody else. I am a fairly small, I'm a small channel. Um, and I'm always inspired by all of you women on here. And, and the point I'm trying to make is when I make anything, even though we all make it our own and put our own twist to it, we're always inspired from each other. And I am huge on if I create something and that inspiration, even though I make it my own, came from watching a tutorial for somebody else's channel, I always give credit to that person. Uh, you know, like I made, for instance, example, this little purse, okay? And I, I'm, you know, don't come up with things like this top of my head. You know, I'm not that creative. So, um, but I made this little purse and this was completely inspired by Tamika from Scrap the World. I always give credit where credit's due. Um, I started making this purse. And this is from the Posh Paper Lady. This was her tutorial. So, <clears throat> like, anything I make, uh, even though if I make it my own, I always want to give credit to you beautiful ladies because, you know, we we all work hard, uh, you know, in our craft. And especially if it's, like, you know, uh, an original that somebody's sharing uh, it's so important, you know, to give that credit. So, anyway, what I'm getting at is I saw a video, and when I was saying about the BB Craft uh, project share is, I'm telling you, when I researched, I did. I was like, you know what, I want to do a video that I haven't seen anybody do, um, you know, because with the beads, because we all do, you know, chunky charms, things like that. But I just wanted to do something original and fun and, you know, kind of try to stand out there a little because, you know, I'm trying to grow my channel and I can't always post all the time. Um, I'm always I'm busy a lot with my grandkids. So with that being said, um, I made these little corns on the cob with the BB craft beads. Okay. Um, I'm not going to say this is an original idea. Reason being is I got the idea from Pinterest. Now, I looked and looked and looked and looked for something that would be, you know, cutesy. We could use. These are tiny that we could use. How big are these? These are from, you know, the top of the thing oh, to the end. It is two and a half inches. But just the beads themselves, it's an inch and a half. So, I wanted to make something that, you know, we could put on embellishments and things like that to use for our projects. So, I figured I could, you know, make these little things, send them out. You ladies could, uh, you know whatever with them. Anyhow, I did see a video that was made and the person did use beads for corn, you know, corn cobs. Um, <clears throat> they were a lot bigger, but they still did the idea with the beads and the pipe cleaners. So, um, I wasn't mentioned in the video and the only reason I know that it came from my video is because, um, Everybody was saying, I've never seen this done. Um, wow, this is cute. Can you do a tutorial? This and that. And it's okay because, like, hers were bigger. But I'm I'm guaranteed it came from, and I wouldn't say that if I wasn't sure, that it came from my project share. Um, and it hurt me a little bit because, you know, again, if it was just something I just boom and put out there. But I really did really two straight weeks searching Pinterest and everything to try and do something that was just a little different, fun, and unique, you know, to kind of let me stand out a little bit. And it hurt my feelings that I wasn't mentioned. I, there's no way that it wasn't from my video because nobody has done it since I posted. Nobody's done it before that I know of in our circle. I mean, um, 
again, it's not an original idea. I got it from Pinterest, but it's original to me on YouTube with the beads. So with that being said, I, I you know, I made these uh, a week or two ago. And I just wanted to do a little tutorial on them for you guys if you're interested. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do today, though, now that my rant is over, forgive me, but I was in my feelings, forgive me, um, is I use the 8mm, um, and this is the um, candy corn mix from BB Craft. So it's the 8mm ones to make this. I'm actually going to use their Halloween mix, and these are little. These are 6mm, because I just wanted to do, you know, some Halloween. I know corn on the cob is not Halloween, but I just thought it'd be cute. You know, for whatever reason. And to make them smaller. So, um, well, using smaller beads. So then, you know, you guys can use them for whatever. Whoever the recipient is. Um, also, I used these colors on the previous ones. I used the green and the tan. And I'm actually going to use metallic to make them a little more fun. So, I'm going to turn the camera down and get started. So, I have my little mix here. I have my little tools um, and my pipe cleaners. So I just, you cut it to whatever size you want. Here's a full, I, whatever length you want. Just remember when you're making these, you're going to bend this in half. You know, equal equal lengths. Well, not this one. I'm using this one for the corner of the car. Either way, you know. So you're going to bend it anyway in like a U shape. So just remember that with the length, okay? And whatever size, size beads you are using. Um, I made two. You want to cut two because they are going to go crisscross like that. Okay. So this I'm going to use for my, to wrap around the top. So you're going to bend it like a U. Okay. Very, so easy. It's crazy. And of course, any bead, beads you would like to use, colors, uh, style, doesn't matter. Um, the only thing is with some of these BB craft beads I've noticed some of the um, openings aren't completely open. I don't know if any of you have had that issue, but no big deal. We just skip along, skip along. But I thought it'd be cute to do a little, um, you know, use my little Halloween mix um, to do it. Uh, you know, something different because I'm a goof. But, um, yeah, so I just wanted to say, you know, no hard feelings because I'm not that type of person at all. Um, I just was, you know, in my feelings and I was like, wow, I was so excited, first of all, to see that, you know, it was done, but I was like, yes, you know, something I, I made, somebody liked and, you know, did it and that made me super excited. But then when, you know, I wasn't mentioned at all, that really hurt my feelings. Um, again, had I seen this <clears throat> recently, you know, on YouTube or whatever, I would be like, eh, you know, but it hasn't been so I'm just saying, I know it was my video that inspired, and just a little recognition would be nice, because when I, especially when I see comments like, this is amazing, I haven't seen this done before, and, you know, things like that, that gets me super excited, as it would any of us, and, you know, now it's like, okay, well, I felt proud <laughs> that I found an idea, <clears throat> again, it's not an original idea, but I, you know, found an idea that and created it that somebody actually liked and made into their own. Um, and other people liked it. And that was super exciting for me. Because I'm going to be straight honest with you ladies. I follow all you ladies' tutorials and, you know, your crafts. And I am get inspired by it. And I, you know, make what you're all making. Because that's normally what we do, right? But that that bothered me. So I'm human. You know, I'm just saying it's, it's nice to, you know, give that other person credit. I mean, we're all, you know, trying to grow our channels and do our thing. So it's just nice to, you know, be kind to each other and that's all I'm saying. So I hope, you know, you all understand and don't dislike me for, you know, being in my feelings. Um, so that's that. See that, guys? I always managed to get four of the um, six millimeter beads on that little thing. So you're just going to do it again. You don't have to um, see like these. I did the colors, you know. Oh, I'm going to do this color. I'm just going with it. That's what I'm doing. I'm going with it. I'm not 
no rhyme or reason. I'm just putting them on, stringing the colors any way I want. Um, you probably need your little jewelry tools if you have them, just because, you know, it's hard to string them through. Especially when they're tiny, tiny. Because <laughs> I'm a genius and wanted to do the tiny, tiny ones. I just wanted to see if I could get them, you know, smaller. Um, to see, you know, if they would go smaller, first of all. So I can put them on projects or mainly send them out. I've been, like, working on little uh, craft caddies and stuff, you know, to send, like, goodies out um, in. Uh, because I normally can ship out uh, at the beginning of the month. Um, I mean, many of you know I am on disability, so. And I am the one who pays all the bills here. So, I don't always have a lot of money. I've actually been on this whole month, which has been horrible for me, <laughs> is on a, a no spending, you know, craft spending. Um, because in July I had so many birthdays, guys. So my son and my oldest daughter are both born in July. Um, and my middle daughter is May. But, okay, so my son is 20, he just turned 22. His birthday is July 7th. My oldest daughter just turned 27. Her birthday is July 21st. Um, and then my grand's, oldest grandson, which is my oldest daughter, who's July birthday, Her both her children are July. They're July 29th and July 30th. My grandson and my granddaughter, brother and sister. So, I got four birthdays in July, right? And then my husband's is also in Ju July. Um... The 17th. So, it's a busy, busy month. Then May, my middle daughter is a May baby. Um, and her two children, which are my four-year-old grandson and my two-year-old granddaughter, they are also May babies. May 20th, May 30th. So, you see where I'm going with this? So, they were, you know, I had to spend a lot of money. So, to catch up, I decided I was not going to spend any money on crafty goodies. Um, for the whole month, this month. Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out what color I want. Um, yeah, so it's been hard and I see all the Hobby Lobby hauls, so I've crashed. You know, I'm like, I'm going. So I'll probably go, oops, this week to see if there's anything left. Um, because I've seen some really cute things that you ladies have been hauling. Okay. So, I'm on my last uh, bead here. Alright. So, there we go. So, we have these two, right? So, you're just going to take one of them. This is it, guys. And I mean it. This is all you do. You put one on top of the other. Right? Just like that. So, like an X. Okay? So, they're going to go in like an X. Hold them like this. Just take your tops. Okay? Hold them tight like that. Take your tops, twist. Just the tops. Twist, twist, twist. Okay, hope. Oh, sorry, guys. Come on, get it together. Hold on, ladies. Okay. So, see what I did? Watch. Like that. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame. Like this. Okay. Pull them up. Boy, this is challenging. They're so little. Okay. Hold them. Twist the tops. Okay? As much as you can. Try to straighten them out. So, you know, they're in, like, the four columns. Okay? Look at that. So cute. I love it. Look at that, guys. Look at the difference in size. Look at this. Let me get this mess out of here, first of all. Look at this. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get it. Look at the size. I love it. These are an inch. <laughs> okay, so we twisted that. I need to try and locate the little ends here. Right? Either way, don't matter. So we're going to take our other piece. We are just going to... I don't think it needs to be that long because these are itty bitty. They are tiny, guys. So, let's take a little piece. 
I'm not good at tutorials, so forgive. <laughs> and we are going to wrap this around it. I'm going to have to use these, guys, because this is little. Okay. I'm just using this to uh, wrap it all the way around. Kind of tight, you know. Wow, this is challenging. It's so easy, though. Anyway, I mean, you know, everything's challenging when you're doing it for the first time. This is the first time I'm making them this tiny, that's for sure. Okay, so I got that secured. And you want to do one twist on this one, okay? One, one twist. Oh, my goodness. Look what I did. I don't want to do that. So we're going to do this as tight as you can. A couple twists, right? Put this over. You want this to go over that twist that you did. Because these are going to be our stems, okay? Okay, let me cut another piece. There we go. I can't do nothing with these nails. Not then. No bueno. Okay. Got it. All right. Getting somewhere. <laughs> so anyhow, you get the just, right? I'll have to fix my little uh, tops. <laughs> but anyway, these are the little ears of corn. I might not even keep this. I might use leaves, you know? Should we do that? Should we use, try to use some, like, leaves? Because that's so little, right? Let's see what we got here. Hold on, guys. I might have some type of leaves that we can use. Oh, let me show you, let me show you if these will work. I mean, they're kind of big. What do you think? What do you think, guys? What do you think? Should I try a leaf? I mean, do, do corns have leaves? I don't even know they have. Oh, I know they got that uh, raffia I could use, right? Or like twine. How about if we did that? Give me a minute, guys. Let me try that. I'm gonna make this thing like four hours long. <laughs> um, again, I've never made them this small, so bear with, bear with. Again, I want to make them fun, you know, because they're for, uh, for, like, Halloween, you know? What if we use, we'll just use one that's already open, right? Oh, these scissors are terrible. I can't wait to share with you guys the, um, little cart items I got from Walmart for your, your um, craft cart. I'm thinking maybe we should, uh, when we're putting these on here, we're going to use super glue. I'm not going to do that right now because I didn't put my glue gun on because I didn't know this was going to be such a hassle. So anyway, you get the just. You guys can decorate the, uh, you know, tops or whatever any way you want. It doesn't have to be my mess, okay? If you notice, the bigger beads were so much easier. I just used the, um, pipe cleaners, you know? I twisted one around and but you see the bottom it just crisscrossed like that you see crisscrossed and you know it's wire you're just going to straighten them out the best you can i mean corn's not perfect right so i guess we can you know use a few of these let them dangle down let me get my fabric scissors though because those are way better to cut uh, here we go so i think i'll keep my little bit long and then maybe whoop, get another piece yeah, so this is it, guys. I know this tutorial was kind of odd, but I've done only, what, one tutorial ever on this, uh, like, paper crafting, I mean, or any type of crafting this, of this, you know, on here. Um, 
I don't know, I give you ladies props that do it because you're really going to have your stuff together to uh, be have a successful tutorial and not struggle with uh, these horrible nails. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can't even tie the darn thing. Um, anyway, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to tie these around. You can use leaves. You can use the pipe cleaners. But there you have it. Little itty bitty corns on the cob. Um, and here's the other size corn on the cob. Um, so yeah, I'll probably decorate this with a ton of this. You know, I'm not sure yet. I might use, I might use, um, I don't know, if I find little itty bitty leaves, I might use those, you know. But there you have it. I'm sorry for the rough tutorial. I'm still, you know, getting used to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little corn on the cob beaded projects from BB Craft Beats. Um, I did do my resin pieces for the BB Craft uh, molds I got, the Christmas tree molds. While I was at it, I did like, I used all my other molds that I have too. So I have a ton of resin pieces to show you guys. They're so fun. So fun. I can't wait to show you not only the trees, but one that I got in from AliExpress that I, no, 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 no. It was, uh, yes, it is Ali. It's either Ali or, um, Amazon. I'll check because I know you guys are going to love it this one particular mold and I'll make sure even though I don't know how to link that I will you know write where put in the, when I do do the video in the description box where I got it from because I know it's so cute that um certain resin piece was inspired um from last year from uh Janet from mom to create she created uh a project using this particular piece. I don't think hers was resin, though. I think she... Because she hand draws a lot of her projects. Well, she's super talented. Um, you have to check her out, Mom, to create. But, yeah, she hand draws her projects and then brings them to life. And they're gorgeous. So, this particular piece, though, was inspired by her. Um, for me to buy the resin piece. So, when I show you the video, you guys are gonna like it. So, all right. That's it, guys. Um, thank you for watching, and um, hope I didn't offend anybody by my little rant. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love each and every one of you. Um, God bless. Bye, guys.